Hi everyone, my name is Zaki and this is uh, a tutorial about the pet recommendation app that uh, my team made for software engineering 3351. This app is basically a pet recommendation app that gives you an option to give to answer questions. And then based off of the questions, it gives you um, a recommendation of pets that might be suitable based on the answers to your questions. So right now, as you can see, the pet recommendation home screen is um, basically a welcome page and it gives you a little bit of an about about what the app is all about. Um, this is as the home page. If I move on to all pets, um, this gives you a list of all the pets that um, are in the database that we're using. Uh, so we're basically using an API uh, called Pet Finder API. Um, what we do is we called the API and we got um, the data that we may need for this app and we put it into a JSON file. So the um, it shows multiple images and um, it shows the name of the pet. Um, you can have multiple, like here you have dogs and then if you scroll down even more, you'll start seeing cats. Um, and then even further down, you'll see some other different types of pets as well like uh, rabbits and uh, you know other other pets such as if I go down even more like you'll see a uh, small and furry so this is like a hamster you obviously a guinea pig there's some other pets like um, more like farm based pets like you have pigs so this kind of has a lot of uh, a big library of different pets that um, that you might get recommended based on the answers to your questions. Um, the pets show the type of the pet, as I mentioned and I went through, um, the breed, so like a shepherd or a terrier, um, the age, the gender, the state, and a small description about the pet, and then some tags. It also shows a tab for more info, which is a link, uh, where you can actually see more info about that specific pet, like Olivia over here. You could see more pictures. Um, you could see more characteristics and you get a little bit more information about the pet if you, if you feel necessary to have um yeah so this is the pets if i move on to the questionnaire which is the actual gist of our algorithm um what this does is basically the questions um you there the questions are based off of either lifestyle living conditions or care capabilities so there's five questions for each and you can rate the question from one to five using the drop down menu for each question um using this drop down menu um, it'll give you, uh, in the algorithm, what will happen is it'll create a suitability score for the user based on their answers to these questions. Um, that suitability score is then going to be compared to the suitability score of each pet, as we have also made an algorithm to calculate the suitability score for each pet, which will, um, like based on their tags and based on the stuff that you saw here a little bit, <clears throat> the description, the age, the breed, um, there's many factors that go into that. Um, and then it's going to get compared to your usability score. So in here, let's say if I go three, uh, four, three, maybe five, um, leave that as one. And then maybe if I want to go four, three, two, three, five, and then maybe if I go three, three, five, I click submit, I'll get a list of pets that might be that it might that are recommended to me based off of this algorithm. So I have a um Floppa, Garland, Biscuit and Missy, Courtesy Posting, a call, Gushish, and Harry and Omar. So these are all like pets that based off of my questions and my answers to them and um how I reacted to each thing um they gave me. So the questions are from one to five from strongly recommend or strongly agree to strongly disagree and um anything in the middle of that. So these are the pets that it gives you and then um yeah so some of a, a, a big challenge that we faced in this part of the code was actually developing the algorithm as uh there was many different factors that got, went into it so um and also planning it out and making sure that it was actually accurate was kind of a, a hard uh, process um there was also at the end where the, we had feedback uh the feedback allows you allows the user to give the makers of the app of uh, feedback to the 
um to the app. So let's say like to recommend I could feel strongly recommended and suggestions I could write maybe a yeah, next step that we could have is maybe have a reasoning. So maybe like have like a small blurb under the five pets um for why we chose these pets and maybe actually um converting our algorithm to actual words that humans um recurring math to actual you know words so that's what that's um a next set that we could have and that could enhance the app especially for other users and they could also rate your experience so we'll give it you know four this basically adds it to the json file within the code um for future use if uh, necessary so yeah that's our app um i hope you enjoyed it and um if uh hopefully we uh, get a good mark on this thank you very much have a good one